I never ask for this, but for today's video, I'm gonna need your support, guys. I'm gonna need you to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. We're so close to 500,000 subscribers. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm low key scared. Today, we're gonna be talking about the YouTuber Speed McQueen. This guy has almost 4 million subscribers, really big guy. He has over 3 billion views on his YouTube channel. His fans are cray cray, they're insane. They are scary despite the fact that they're like four to seven years old i've seen some videos calling him out for being unfunny cringe whatever and there's so many kids just calling you the worst thing possible disliking your video so if y'all got my back i got yours i'm just on my knees praying to god no little six-year-old bullies me <clears throat> i'm so brave for making this video now i want to make one thing clear i don't hate this guy his youtube shorts remind me of 2015 2016 lele ponds where you can make a dumb face and then people will call you the funniest person on planet earth this is the type of humor that this guy produces i mean let's just take a look at one of his most Porn, sex, penis. I just imagine someone watching this video in their living room and the other people who are not watching, they're like, yo, what the fuck is this guy watching? What's going on? So the joke here is boys room equals dirty and boys search history clean because you delete it after you, you know, you do your business. So relatable. This guy is just like me for real, for real. I mean, just look at the comment section. Search history is clear, but the rest is up to them to clean up. It's always the innocent ones. And I love how all of them are people with cat profile pictures. <laughs> Boys room dirty. Boys search history clean. Men's room clean. Men search history. Uh, this is the most little kid section I have ever seen. POV, your mom, your moom, check your search history empty meanwhile you phew <laughs> <coughs> oh shit looks like a speed mcqueen fan just tried to assassinate me pour something on my drink went full bill cosby on me uh so you know that meme was extremely relatable how i said that i fucking hate relatable content like it reminds me of lele Pons and her gang of being quirky being funny being latina being relatable <laughs> This one seems extremely relatable to a 25 year old like me. When you forget to do your chores. That makes me wanna call my mom. Give me one second. So relatable. My mom washes her dishes instead of me. Fuck, I was gaming. I was getting the WM Fortnite. Oh. You know what's crazy is that that low taper fade like meme is dude it is still massive it's deep that's a deep content that takes me back to 2016 deep content phone bad social media cancer but it's no wonder in a world filled with imax ipads and iphones so many eyes so many selfies not enough us's and we see the top comment really hits different you know i i feel you i've been gaming i've been playing halo cod Fortnite. My mom has told me, you know, years ago, she was like, yo, can you help me with the dishes? And I'd be gaming. I'd be forgetting. So this is definitely one of the most relatable videos I have ever seen. This guy is literally just like me. Now this looks like a certified hood classic. How old are you? Oh, how old are you? Oh, how wow are you? Uh, why are you? Mm -hmm. Why? Damn it. If I had a gun, I would be reaching for it right now. Holy shit. I don't know if this is meant to be ironic. And my favorite part is the 2020s. Oh, how wawa are you? Who the fuck says, oh, how wawa are you? I've talked to like two people this year and <laughs> and none of them have ever said, oh, how wawa are you? Yeah, please tell me this is ironic and satirical, making fun of that other girl who made that dumbass video. That wasn't satirical, by the way. Wow. That made me physically ill. It makes me want to throw myself on the floor, make myself into a little ball and just never wake up. Makes me want to go in the closet and never come out. Hat Hamster says, Wow, a full volume is kinda, hey yo, why you? I don't know. Top comment, beginning American, Middle Asian, and Mario. Once again, his whole thing is just being quirky, being relatable. I'll say he's like an updated version of Lele Pons. The only thing that this guy is missing is saying I'm Latina. The more I look at this page, the more obvious it becomes this is a 
thousand percent little kids content this is for like google gaga babies who still use diapers i've seen some criticism because he's edgy or he makes a lot of racist jokes like black or school shooting type jokes as long as they're funny i don't really care about them but the thing is this guy's just like safe edgy like it's not real edgy it's just black people watermelon mexican tacos it's like the most obvious shit that isn't even funny it's just like bruh <laughs> it's a certified relatable bruh moment let's take a look at this classic spelling b your word is disqualified could i have that in a sentence you're disqualified disqualified i'm not finished oh you're disqualified from this competition Wait, why? Can I finish the sentence? Oh, sorry. You're not above the rules of this spelling bee, so I'm giving you a final warning. If you interrupt me one more time, you're disqualified. Was that the sentence? Let me finish! Seriously? I will tell you when you can spell the word. Do you understand? Yes. No! That was part of yes. it? Yes! This shit's taking too long. I'm gonna drop out this. This legitimately looks like something my grandma would post on Facebook in like 2014. This seems like a Leather Pawn side character that somehow escaped 2016 and jumped to 2024 through a time machine. But he doesn't know it's 2024. He still thinks it's 2014, 2015. Now, he does make long form content, but it really doesn't get as many views as his short form content. Don't get me wrong. I think it's you know, pretty solid views. And you know what? I kind of want to give him the benefit of the doubt. So this video right here looks like a banger. So chat, today I wanted to speak out today and tell you the truth about my new pronouns. And they are them slash they don't- Y'all know me, son! Dude, carry the boots! You know me, son! In the ball! I don't know what I was expecting, but that was not it. But at the same time, I'm not surprised that I'm disappointed by that. Once again, it's not the whole thing because, oh, yo, this is so edgy. Pronouns equals funny and they them retards. But you have to have a good punchline or funny. You just can't bass boost a song, act silly. And I don't know how old the kid is. He could be 18, 19. And I, once again, I don't hate him by any means. This is painfully unfunny. Now, because I don't want to give you guys brain damage, I just want to take a look at two more of his videos. And we're going to take a look at some of the most popular ones. One of them is this one when a rat finds food 15 million views what the fuck am i doing with my life i have never had a video get 15 million views am i salty yes <laughs> i need to get into the shorts algorithm i'm going to stop making long content and i'm just gonna stick to shorts so i could hit a million subscribers before the end of the year no more long form content no more of this just brain rot skibbity toilet ohio riz baby gronk content moving forward hey yo Oh, buddy, leaving food out. Really? That chef guy? Mm-hmm. Little piece of cheese. I'm messing with it. The guy who's always chasing us and trying to kill us? <coughs> My boy done turned a leaf. <coughs> we up. Where'd he leave it at? He put in a little box. It's just a little box in the corner. It's like a little dimly lit restaurant. Pretty, pretty good touches. <coughs> Now, I gotta say, this filter makes me extremely uncomfortable. I'm actually scared to sleep tonight. What if I'm just sleeping, chilling, and out of nowhere, this fucking thing shows up in my dreams? Or I get sleep paralysis and I can't move, and this is the last thing I see before I die. What the f- hey. <coughs> Oh, it's what not good. Uh, yeah, my mom would love this if she was 65. Now, this is peak brain rod, and if my son ever saw these videos, I will disown him and give him up for adoption. 